Hi, I am Dr. Nicole Vane of Moonlight Beach Dental, and I want to do a quick educational segment on um, platelet-rich fibrin, uh, or PRP, platelet-rich plasma, and some of the cool things we can do with it. It's super duper exciting. Um, as a holistic dentist, we don't like using some of the common materials for socket preservation if you're having an extraction. Um, typically, we'd use cadaver bone or dried cow bone, and have it sterilized and then we'd be putting it back into you. Um, a lot of people are just, the idea of having a foreign body reaction is not something that to the common person would seem like a good idea. Holistically, your body can not integrate those materials into them, reintegrate it into your bone because it's not of you. So even though it looks okay on an x-ray, it can actually cause um, healing issues for many patients. So platelet-rich fibrin is where we draw your blood and we spin it down. In this case, I use a horizontal centrifuge and it separates into your red blood cells down at the bottom and then we get this beautiful gummy bear-like plug of platelet-rich fibrin. Now, I, um, I've trained under Chacroon, Picos, and then most recently under uh, Dr. Rick Miron, who wrote this textbook, and he's the one who designed the centrifuge. And what is so different about it is that the key to getting really great results is having someone where your blood starts being spun, and it's very specific how and how long your blood is handled and to which vials it goes in. So you really want a doctor who knows what they're doing. So we draw the blood, we put it in the vial, and then we put it in our horizontal centrifuge. And the key is that it's done within 60 seconds. So I get the maximum factors that are stimulating for healing. They're essentially like stem cells that can help your body regenerate the tissue and decrease the inflammation and have you heal properly after surgery. So I use this, I'll save you from some of the gore, but I will include some pictures of what the spun blood looks like in case anyone wants to know more. But we can separate it out in a variety of ways. Um, depending on the separation, for instance, PRP is gonna be used differently than PRF. Um, I can use it for injecting into wrinkles. I can use it for lip plumping. You can use it for if you had knee pain from bone on bone pain from arthritis. It has endless possibilities of what it can be used for. But what I use it most for is when we take out teeth or when I do a gum surgery, I spin your blood down and pack the, the socket with these cells so that we can get the maximum amount of healing and the least amount of collapse in the socket. Because what happens over time is the bone tends to shrink down. And then later, it's either an aesthetic issue or a restorative issue where we don't have enough bone to put in an implant or do something that looks really nice in the mouth. So having this is key in terms of healing. Um, using it for the wrinkles and some of the wrinkle fine line injections, uh, if you've heard of the vampire facials, essentially we're taking all those same stimulating factors and we're getting it in underneath the tissue so that we can get fibroblast invasion and give you a more youthful appearance. So I've also done a lot of training on the cosmetic benefits of it. So stay tuned. I definitely am going to be taking more pictures of myself over time as I am doing some of these PRF injections. But right now I'm just absolutely loving how I can deliver to my patient the optimum in healing by spinning the blood here in the office. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to read about it on the website or ask me when you come into the office because it's definitely something I recommend doing with every single uh, surgical procedure we do here in the office. So. Thank you again for your time and I look forward to speaking with you soon.